Claire Denman, Assistant Head Teacher, Oriel High School. Alright, I'm just going to ask you a few generic questions about today. Uh, the first one being, um, what has been the most impactful change that you have made in practice in the last year? Um, this year we've been lucky enough to be working with Pixel 6, um, which is an organisation that worked with the school called Pixel. They have an organisation called Pixel 6, which is student improving outcomes for students in sixth form. So my role as head of sixth form, um, I've been going visiting meetings, hearing from other schools, learning about their practice. And one of the things we brought into school this year was personalised learning checklists for our sixth form students. First time through this year, so it's going to take a while to develop and to embed, but I think it's empowering our students to know what they must have in place before they're assessed for their outcomes and their exams. Awesome. And uh, what have been the outcomes so far? Certainly I know in my own classroom the students were talking a lot more knowledgeably about what they needed to do to perform at the level they were aiming for. Um, obviously I can't speak for what's been reciprocated, you know, how it's been reciprocated across the school and we're all holding you know, that thought and fingers crossed for 30th of August that the outcomes are going to reflect that change being positive one. Awesome, thank you. And uh, last but not least, uh, what have been the highlights of um, educate, Educated uh, 2016 so far for you? Um, for me, I think listening to Aaron Leary talking about um, vocabulary and the importance of vocabulary and how there's a vocabulary gap that basically undermines um, a student's attitude to learning if we don't, as teachers, proactively enable them to think about language and think about the impact of language across the curriculum. Um, I think that's something that's really charmed with a lot of people today, regardless of what their subject specialism is.